Hello and welcome to your town prize home draw 538 at gorgeous Maroochy River. This is the first time in a little while we've done an acreage. I cannot wait to show you around. So let's go check it out. Welcome home. So as soon as we come into the hall area here, just on your right here, we've got the door to the garage, which we won't show you in too much detail today because we want to save that for the garden tour. And if you go through here, Kaz, got Kaz behind the lens again today. Hello. We have our laundry and it acts as a little bit of a mudroom space as well. So you've got loads of storage again up here. Huge big uh, laundry sink. Washer dryer, of course. And then, uh, as I said, this kind of acts like a little bit of a mudroom on the side here. So if you come in from the yard, you can pop your, uh, sit down, pop your boots on. A couple of shoe drawers there. Got some hanging there if you want to hang coats or, or raincoats or jackets. More storage in here, quite large storage, which is great. And there's a couple of power points in there as well. If you wanted to hang any kind of cleaning apparatus that you can charge, like a vacuum. So that is your laundry and mudroom space. We've got some storage right here. Nice big linen space. And then we'll take you through sequencing here. So this first little hall here, just on the left, you're going into the study. So great working from home space or kids homework space. Lots of light coming in there with a the large window. The air conditioning's ducted into here as well. Got this nice VJ panelling behind both the computers. Not props, both computers are real, ready to go for work from home or kids' homework. So got some file drawers for uh, files or, or you've got obviously stationery as well. And if we go down this little hallway a little further, as we go to your right there, we have a powder room space. So I've got your basin there, there's a bit of storage under there. You've got a toilet here. The great thing about this toilet is you can access it from the outside as well. So nobody has to come through the house when they've been out to the pool area. Straight through to your master. I love the vista from sitting in this bed. Just stop right there, Kaz, and show outside to that beautiful greenery. That is what you look at and wake up to every day. Just gorgeous. So there's screens there um, on all of the louvers to keep the bugs out, but you've got that really large picture window there as well, which is wonderful. Air conditioned uh, in here. We have your block out blinds as well as your shears for the windows if you just want a little bit of privacy but not block out the light. This is a really lovely feature behind the master bed and I'm sure Kate will go into a little bit more detail about that just to have this little recess here so you can have some decorative pieces there. These beautiful wall sconces are lovely as well, quite subtle and you know, multi-directional light, which is great. So you do have a ceiling fan right above your bed. And as I said, ducted air conditioning as well. So down lights in this room as well. If we go through to here, you have your walk-in robe, huge amount of space there. Loads of drawer and shelf storage, which is great. Not everybody wants things on display all the time. So you've got uh, eight drawers per person for this uh, walk-in robe that you share with somebody or not. Master bath there. Beautiful freestanding bath. I love that you've got the light from this window panel here, this fixed panel, but you've also got uh, the louvers to let the air in, ventilation in the bathroom, so important. Lovely uh, pendant light feature there over the freestanding bath. In the shower while you're over there, Kaz, you can see you've got your rain nozzle as well as your handheld. Nice ledge there so that you can store things on the ledge. Easy for your shampoo and conditioner and those sorts of things. Again, Lots of bathroom storage, which is excellent. A couple of drawers there, and then you've got two drawers there. Double vanity, which is fantastic. Again, if you're sharing or not, if you don't want to. So come back out this way. 
So these windows here are privacy, but they do open as well and they are screened. So you can have that privacy glass there, but then you've also got the ventilation coming through. So absolutely beautiful master. Very important to see the bedroom that you'll be spending the rest of your life in if you're lucky enough to win this home. So we'll come back down this little hall here and go through into the next wing. We're going to do your living spaces and kitchen last. So we'll come through to here, Kaz. So this space will go through in a second is your dining, living and kitchen. What I love about this is a huge barn door here which blocks off for privacy or noise if you've got small children or if you've got guests or teenage retreat. You've got another little living space here, which goes out onto the alfresco area that we'll go out onto in a minute. And then you've got three bedrooms and a, a bathroom in this section as well. So beautiful big bedrooms ducted air conditioning and ceiling fans. Got your block out blind there. Loads of storage again, drawers and shelves and hanging. We've got some beautiful big rugs on all of the floors, but you've got these lovely hardwood floors as well. Another bedroom right there, Kaz. So we've got shears and block outs in here. You do have your water tanks for the property outside in the back area there. Block out blinds there. Same again with your nice big robes and ceiling fans and ducted air conditioning. Through here, we've got just a little bit of uh, storage again here. Loads and loads and loads. You've got your toilet here. Again, you've got that privacy window and glass that is screened, but also letting the light in. And then this lovely bathroom here. You've got a big semi freestander bath and then a shower. Same scenario as before. You've got your dual shower your rain and your handheld. And then you've got that shelf there for amenities. So just down this little space here onto your next bedroom. Again, you've got block outs and shears in here. So you can look out onto that beautiful vast front yard So in your living space here, nice big TV, some storage underneath your television space. Really lovely uh, chaise lounge. Very comfy for movie afternoons, using as a separate media space or just a second living room if you wanna contain children, guests or anybody else to this section of the house. And the fact that you can just walk straight out here into the alfresco area is lovely but we shall duck out there and give you a detailed look in a moment. So let's just go through now and we will show you the piece de resistance of this house. I love this space. So over here, you've got this lovely sitting area, nice big television on the wall there, storage underneath the TV. This is really special. This, so this is a little gas fire. It's just beautiful. Really nice feature. Everybody that comes to this house is drawn to that. Uh, it gives you a little, obviously gives you some heat as well, but we live in Queensland and this is autumn in Queensland today. Very soon to be winter in Queensland. So uh, no doubt it will get utilised. So we've got another buffet over here, which has got storage underneath the buffet. And now how about this kitchen? This is quite the kitchen, really nice long kitchen bench. You can see from the front there that you've got lots of space to be able to have stools 
up against the kitchen bench. So I can really see this kitchen being the hub of the home. As per usual with most of our kitchens, it's got a nice big butler's pantry in here. All of your glassware, pots, pans, you've got a more storage in here. Cooking utensils, you have your microwave just there. Second basin and tap. Sliding door that then cuts off anyone that's going to be your butler for the evening from the house. And then, yeah, really, really great big kitchen. So, got your shallower drawers and your deeper drawers. Our storage, don't mind us. Nice big Bosch oven. Gas cooktop. Uh, rain hood is, is recessed back up in here. Very serious DeLonghi coffee machine. For those who don't mind a coffee. And then a, a nice, um, got your nice fridge freezer section here. So just on this side of the bench here, again, loads and loads of storage. Got your rubbish bins in here. Your cutlery, because of course, all of that is here ready and waiting for you. More storage and here you've got your integrated Bosch dishwasher. So huge big dining table over here for uh, entertaining indoors. and then spilling out here through these double doors into your alfresco space. So huge eight-seater eight table out here. This is fantastic outdoor kitchen. Got your beverage fridge there. Another sink, which is wonderful. Again, loads of storage. Very serious barbecue. There is a beer and cider tap over here and obviously refrigerated underneath. This is a fantastic little sitting space. So we've popped a TV outside here as well. So you can either sit and watch the TV or we've extended the TV out on that arm so you can watch it from the pool. If you want to watch the footy or some other kind of activity on the TV while you're entertaining outside. Beautiful pool space. This just feels like a resort. I absolutely love these lounges. And if we come just down to beside the pool, there's a great shelf here just near the pool so you can just sit in the pool and have a couple of drinks on a nice hot day. You'll see uh, in the photographs when we've shown you the front of the house, there's this little stair that's right in front of the pool space there that goes down to the lower part of the property. And just over here, Kaz, we can show there's another pool gate right here. And then that was the two-way bathroom we were talking about before so people don't need to go through the house to go to the bathroom if they're outside entertaining and then there's I love this setup over here it's beautiful big pandanus tree and we've set the fire pit up ready for you to enjoy a Queensland winter if you're the lucky winner and I don't know if you can see it Kaz if you pan back there near the chairs there's a couple of little sheep next door. See one just there, sitting next to the stump next door. We'll pop a photo in the comments underneath there so you can see what the neighbor's sheep look like. So we absolutely love this property and we cannot wait to show you more. 
So we're going to have Kate's design tour, we'll have a garden tour for you and this property will sell fast. So $2.6 million worth of first prize, $200,000 worth of gold bullion included and we close on the 28th of January. So get your tickets now.